Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today I'm announcing something that I already announced on a live stream but let's pretend I didn't do that and I'm going to announce the biggest sale I've ever done in the history of forever. Yes, if you don't take advantage of this, you might be one of the dumbest people who ever lived in the history of said forever. So, so much to talk about here. So much to talk about here, guys. So, again, why this is happening, why I'm doing something so crazy, which I haven't even told you about yet, is because, as some of you who follow this channel closely know, I'm leaving soon. And I'm wanting to get rid of a bunch of stuff. And I was just going to pack a bunch of stuff up and kind of just like put it in a storage unit until I come back. But I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. I just think that's silly. So what I want to do is try to get rid of as many chapbooks and my paperbacks as I can. Because if I don't, they're just going to be sitting in a fucking storage unit for who knows how fucking long. So I would rather you guys have them. So how this is gonna go, shaky camera, shaky camera, is you, the viewer here, need to send me an email to ihatematwallatgmail.com and in the subject put chapbook order or something like that, just so I could like separate shit from everything else that's in there. And you basically tell me which books of mine either you don't have, if you have a bunch, or just tell me the ones that you want, okay? And what I'm going to do is put those in an envelope and send them to you. Now, donations are what I'm looking for here because, again, this isn't... This is... Uh, a big part of my income that I'm just letting go so I don't have to put it in storage. So um, think about that when you're doing this thing. But I'm m mainly concerned about the shipping. So anywhere in America, I could send a big stack of books for roughly under 10 bucks like chat books but i'm also throwing in my paperback so if like and i'll show you guys in a second here anyway so domestically shipping shouldn't be more than ten dollars internationally it varies uh not a lot higher than here but we have media mail here so that's cheaper but overseas we don't have media mail so what I've noticed in shipping books and stuff is that if I'm shipping to the UK or Australia, the price goes up a ton. So I probably wouldn't put the end of everything in a UK order or an Australia order unless you guys cover that cost. Because the size of a 6x9 book is... I don't know what the fuck that does to UK mail systems, but it makes everything cost a lot. I, I could just send that one book and it's going to cost 20 bucks to ship it. If you are in the UK, make sure your minimum donation on that thing is at least 20 bucks just to cover what it's going to cost to ship that stuff over to you. I would say anywhere besides the UK and Australia... Uh, somewhere in between 10 and 20 and then domestically 10 is fine and then whatever else you want to throw in there um, as a uh, attaboy for me sending you a bunch of my books okay so you would send me the email telling me either and you have to say this either what books you want or which books you already have and then I'll fill in the gaps and then when you do that, just send me um, a, a PayPal uh, payment to ihatematwallgmail.com for the amount that you want to do. And even if you just want to put the information in the PayPal thing, you can do that too and skip the email to me, whichever. I don't care. And if you can't do PayPal, let me know and we'll work something out. 
Okay. Oh, and I was going to say, this goes for all books, too. All the chat books that I have left. Because, like, I don't even think I've taken this off of Etsy yet. But I'm out of Two Night. Which is weird, because I still have four copies of One Night. Which, I don't know. Like, go figure. But, yeah. So, let, let me get a stack of books here to show you guys. So, we'll, we'll just put them like this. So, these, I think are what we have to work with here. The Coldest Beer in the Desert, which is poems about the little tiny liquor store in the middle of the desert that um, kept me hydrated during COVID. The four type books. And these are in, like, if you want all four of these, you need to hit me up immediately because, like, a couple of them I only have, like, one or two copies mm. of. But, like, so type daily type hard, type drunk, and type fast. And these are, these four books are poems about writing. The Ars Poetica of all this stuff. Um, Death by Detura, poems about the desert trying to kill me. Uh, one Night, poems that were written in one night. Again, Two Night is, I don't have any more of. Um, funeral for a friend. I only have a couple of these left. Oh, I already forgot Red Book. That's one uh, as well. Red Book. Um, I only have a couple of those left too. Um, and those are just poems about the color red. Funeral for a friend is about my MacBook dying. Um, P.O. Box 3054. This is about the post office in the desert when I lived there. Um, off the Grid um, is poems about having an off-grid homestead out in the desert and though all these desert books kind of like are like one big like opus about living in the fucking desert drinking less with the wine stains extra extra and these are um, poems about um, these are the extra ones that didn't make it into winner of your mom's sodomy prize for poetry which we'll talk about in a minute Mart, these are poems about fucking being in Walmart and losing my fucking mind. Uh, shit poems, these are poems about being in the bathroom. So they're not very good and they're about shit. So there you go. MacArthur Park, th these are poems about this neighborhood and being around the park, stuff like that. On the beach, these are poems that I wrote during that one stream or that video where I was like, write a chat book in under an hour. This is the one I wrote. Preview of a Dangerous Mind. These are more recent short stories that I wrote. Um, Last Chance is um, about the gas station out in the desert where I lived in the middle of nowhere. Um, Anxious Anxiety are short stories I wrote from 2007 to 2013. Um, panic are kind of like novella length um, stories or what's the other novella I don't know they're longer than short stories but shorter than whatever's after that so there's four of them or five of them in here um, me as an action figure these are poems about um, nostalgia and childhood 13 Miles South of Hell. Only have a couple of these left. These are poems about, um, what do you call it? Uh, horror and Halloween and um, just weird shit. Los Angeles. Only have a couple of these left. These are poems about, you guessed it. Um, poems over pussy. These are poems about that. Um, me needing to focus more on writing instead of uh chase and tail so that's fun um one man massacre this might be let me actually look at the number on this if this makes any fucking sense this might be the last copy of this i have uh, one man massacre is super fucking depressing uh what the fuck is happening this is the newest one fuck you um this is probably one of the bigger chat books i put out recently these are just kind of angry, fed up with everything poems. Um, pretty good shit in there. I like that. And then we have the book. So we have The End of Everything. This was kind of my Fourier 
Fourier, I don't know if that's right, back into poetry. Um, this is what I wrote to keep me from killing myself when I was super fucking depressed. And this kind of goes through the um, stages of trying to get help and starting therapy, being with my therapist and all that other stuff. And this also took place in the desert. So this is kind of like a prequel to those desert books if you are into the desert books. And then finally, winner your mom's sodomy prize for poetry. Uh, this one here is mainly poems about LA, but it's poems written in between 2021 and 2022. These are like the best poems I wrote during that time. This is what you have to choose from um, and Red Book. Again, that's in there too. Just let me know what you want. And um, depending on when you do this, if like I run out of something that you, you just aren't going to get that. But if I still have the stuff, I will send you the stuff. Um, there are some books that I have a lot more of than others, which is so weird. But it's the truth. It's just how, it's how the cookie crumbles. Either send me the email to ihatematwallgmail.com telling me what you want or what you don't have. We can talk about payment or you can just send an email to, or just go to PayPal and tell me what you want. Send the shipping donation thing to uh, IHateMattWallGmail.com through PayPal. Now again, I'm hoping that you guys kick me down a couple bucks here too for doing this, but honestly, just cover the fucking shipping, okay? Like don't make me like spend money doing this, okay? <laughs> like I appreciate you guys wanting to read my shit and everything like that, but please don't make me pay for it, all right? So um, with that said, uh, you know the drill, type hard everybody. Um, let me know what you guys want because some of these will be gone like by the end of today, okay? So just uh, jump on this um, as soon as you can to make sure you get the books that you want, okay? And thank you guys so much for all of your support. You have no idea like how much it means to me that I'm able to do what I do. And the only reason why I could do that is because of people like you. And so, like, kisses. So type hard, guys, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.